In part two of this video, we'll show you how to select the most favorable Lewis structure if you're given more than one possible structure. Remember, the task is to find the most reasonable Lewis structure for the compound HONC. In part one, we came up with these three possible structures to choose from. We can answer this by finding what's called the formal charge on each atom. Formal charge, which we'll call Fc, is equal to the number of valence electrons minus the sum of the non-bonding electrons around it plus the number of bonds the atom has attached to it. We'll start with the hydrogen atom on structure 1. Hydrogen has one valence electron, and there are no non-bonding electrons around it, and one bond is attached to it. Therefore, its formal charge is 1 minus 1 which equals zero. We'll keep track of hydrogen's formal charge by writing above the H atom in this molecule. Now we'll calculate the formal charge on the oxygen atom. Oxygen has six valence electrons. Here the oxygen has two non-bonding electrons and a total of three bonds. So the formal charge is six minus five, which equals positive one which we'll write above the O atom here. Now we'll move on to nitrogen. Nitrogen has five valence electrons. There are no non-bonding electrons around it, and the nitrogen atom has four bonds. Its formal charge is five minus four, which is also equal to positive one. So we write positive one here. Now we'll find the formal charge on the carbon atom. Carbon has four valence electrons, the atom here has four non-bonding electrons and two bonds. So the formal charge is four minus six, which is equal to negative two. So we write that here above the carbon. At this point, we always check to make sure the formal charges add up to the total charge on the molecule or ion. Since this is a neutral molecule, its total charge is zero. And we can see that the formal charges plus one, plus one, and minus two do indeed add up to zero, so we're okay here. Now we'll calculate the formal charges on the atoms in structure two. Hydrogen, again, has one valence electron and one bond, so its formal charge is one minus one, which equals zero, which we'll write here above the H. The next atom, oxygen, has six valence electrons, no non-bonding electrons, and four bonds. So its formal charge is six minus four, which is positive two. Now we'll find the formal charge on the nitrogen atom. It has five valence electrons, no non-bonding electrons, and four bonds. So its formal charge is five minus four, which equals positive one. Now for the carbon atom on this molecule. Carbon has four valence electrons, the carbon here has six non-bonding electrons around it, as shown by the dots, and one bond. So the formal charge is four minus seven, which is equal to negative three. Again, we see that the formal charges in this molecule, plus two, plus one, and minus three, add up to zero. Now we'll calculate the formal charges on each atom in structure three. Again, we see that because hydrogen has one valence electron, no non-bonding electrons, and one bond, its formal charge is one minus one, or zero. The oxygen atom here has six valence electrons, four non-bonding electrons, and two bonds. So its formal charge is six minus six, which is equal to zero. The nitrogen atom here has five valence electrons, no non-bonding electrons, and four bonds. So its formal charge is five minus four, which equals positive one. The carbon atom here has four valence electrons, two non-bonding electrons, and three bonds. So its formal charge is four minus five, which equals negative one. Again, the formal charges add up to zero, which is the net charge on this neutral molecule. Now, there are some guidelines chemists follow when determining the best Lewis structure for a molecular ion. 
Firstly, we choose the Lewis structure in which the atoms have formal charges closest to zero. Secondly, we choose the structure in which negative charges are generally on the more electronegative atoms. You can see that following guideline 1, structure 3 has formal charges closest to zero, so it would be the most favorable Lewis structure. It doesn't follow guideline 2 because carbon, which has the negative charge, is actually less electronegative, with an electronegativity of 2.5, than nitrogen, with an electronegativity of 3. However, if you look at structures 1 and 2, carbon's charge is actually more negative than it was in structure 3, so these violate guideline 2 even more than structure 3 does. So structure 3 is still our best choice. So we can finish by saying the most reasonable Lewis structure for HONC is the one shown here. In general, it's good to know that a triple bond is more common between an N and C atom than it is between an N and O atom.